Here is my 250 milliwatt red laser. It is 660 nanometers with wavelength, so it's definitely red, and it looks red, so I know it's red. <laughs> um, here's the host. So this 250 milliwatt diode is being driven at 295 milliamps to about 300. It varies a little bit, but it's around 295. It can handle 320 with a somewhat short life. And 310 is okay. 300 is what's recommended, so I'm powering at 295, so it's about 5 under just for the heck of it to make it last longer. I don't think 5 milliwatts is a, or 5 milliamps is big of a difference in brightness and burning power if you can notice it at all. So there's the pretty diode. Let me see how f close I can get it. Hmm. I like this camera. This camera's pretty nice. Getting closer, and it just focused on the sides. Well, since it just focused on the sides, and now it don't focus, that's not cool. I have a whole bunch of JB Weld here, if you can notice, around the heat sink, which is a little silver side right there. That is to keep it cool, and it makes a little pretty silver shine without the JB Weld. The reason I have JB Weld here is because when I stuck the axes through the heat sink with thermal paste and everything, it was completely loose. Like I could just pull the whole thing in and out, and when I focus it, it would just spin in circles and then mess up my wires going to a driver inside there. So, what I did was I made sure it was all greased up good with thermal paste, and I put glue around the sides of the axes and the heat sink. But if I didn't have to do that for some stupid reason, it would be nice and silver and shiny here rather than ugly blobs of gray. But it's still a laser, has a nice host and everything. So let's put this spring in here, I almost lost twice now. I have the crappy acrylic lens right now. I don't know when I'm going to get a glass one, but time to burn another piece now. We hang on, hang on. Bright weeds trying to on metal. So I just don't get in my eye. Okay, it is officially started, so you can time me again. How do you like that? Was that fast enough for you? Okay, this is going to be my uh, balloon pop with my uh, laser. Right now I have it focused to do close range, but uh, it's really big right now. Um, I have some new rechargeable batteries coming on the way, so that way I don't keep on burning up all of my double A's. And uh, there's my green balloon. I have a black dot on it because the black dot attracts the most heat, therefore it will pop the fastest with the black dot. So I'm going to aim it on the black dot, if you know what I'm saying. So, uh, here we go. Was that a bit fast? Let's give this a try again. Stupid dollar store balloons, one of them popped while I was just filling it up. But this one is fine. I think I overfilled the last one anyway. Ready? Alright, stay still. Thank you. Fast? I'm proud of my laser.
going to try this one at a bit of a distance. I just want to see how does how well it does with a couple feet away rather than a couple inches. This is still with my crappy acrylic. I fixed it up a little bit, but uh, still not as good as I'd like it. Okay, I just focus it to the best advantage. And, um, hang on. There you go. Now that's what I'm talking about. That was a couple feet there. No, it's not a big deal. We'll try if I'm going to need a further distance. Just give me a moment.